Welcome to Hollywood Time Capsule. In this video, we take a look at how the actors from the cult classic horror movie, The Evil Dead, have transformed over the years. You'll get to know their real names, and find out how old they are today. We'll show you side-by-side -side comparisons of how they looked back then versus how they look now in 2023. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with more transformations of your favorite actors. Richard de Manincourt played the role of Scott. Richard was 29 years old when he appeared in the film. Fast forward to today, and he is now 71 years old. Prior to acting in the film, Richard was working for a delivery company and coaching springboard diving at a local high school. Apart from this film, he only ever appeared in one other movie, which was the 1985 film, Crime Wave. Richard had this to say about his role in Evil Dead. I don't think they expected that it was going to be a hit or there was going to be a great success. But the, but the, the whole point was to get a movie made, to get it distributed, to earn a reputation of sorts so that they could pursue projects that they really wanted to pursue. And Evil Dead happened to be the experimental yeah. film that got them where they wanted to go. And uh, you know, nobody was expecting success, nobody was expecting... <laughs> wow, it's on VHS! Wow, what a wow! Oh, imagine that! Next up is Betsy Baker, who played the role of Linda. Betsy was 26 years old when she appeared in the film. Fast forward to today, and she is now 68 years old. She attended Michigan State University and graduated with a degree in theater education. Today she is best known for her role as Jocelyn Vickery in the popular TV miniseries, Sharp Objects. As well as her portrayal of Mrs. Sutcliffe in the popular television series, Monday Mornings. Hi, I'm Betsy Baker. I played Linda in the original 1981 cult classic, The Evil Dead. <laughs> Next up is Ellen Sandweiss, who played the role of Cheryl. Ellen was 22 years old when she starred in the film. Fast forward to today, and she is now 64 years old. She actually attended high school with both Sam Raimi, the director of the film, as well as Bruce Campbell, her co-star. She appeared in some of Raimi's early Super 8 films that he directed before Evil Dead, including his short film, Within the Woods, in which she played the role of Ellen. Today, however, she is best known for her work on Evil Dead. She had this to say about the film. When we shot this thing, we didn't think anybody was ever going to see it, so what did it matter? Uh, we didn't think it was ever going to come out, we didn't think anybody would ever see it. Video wasn't around at the time, so they, we thought, okay, so they'll show it in a few movie theaters and in, in, you know, you hoop it, and then, yeah. and then it'll be over. Next up is Teresa Tilly, who played the role of Shelley. Teresa was 27 years old when she appeared in the film. Fast forward to today, and she is now 69 years old. Originally pursuing a career as a stand-up comedian in her hometown of Detroit, she is best known for portraying the character known as Sylvia in the 2011 television series, Workshop. She is also known for playing Shelley in the 2009 television series, Dangerous Women. Teresa was raised in a religious Catholic family, and had this to say about the film. Well, similarly, I was there with my parents, you know, we had gone to mass every day as young yeah. people, and very uh, religious Catholic family. And uh, I mean, I, I literally was doing like bait and switch. Like as soon as I saw myself come on, and I had to do this, you know, lift up my shirt, which was also not in script. And it wasn't until I had been down there shooting for a couple of weeks when. Sam came up to me one night and said, you know, Teresa, I really think this movie would be better if you lifted up your shirt. <laughs> and I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I didn't know what he meant with nothing wonder. I thought, oh, I'll just have like a you know, underwear. Your voice is it. really high now. <laughs> so my mom's sitting there and I'm going, I 
so, I see the scene that's coming up and I go, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> but it was embarrassing, and like Al and I thought, maybe this will just go away. They'll never see it in the video tape, you know. Voila. Next up is Bruce Campbell, who played the role of Ash Williams. Bruce was 23 years old when he starred in the film. Fast forward to today, and he is now 65 years old. Bruce and Sam Raimi share a long-standing friendship and creative partnership that has spanned several decades. The two first met during their teenage years while attending the same high school in Michigan. They collaborated together on this film, which was their first feature-length movie and marked the beginning of their successful partnership. Bruce is also known for reprising his role as Ash Williams in the sequel, Evil Dead 2, as well as in the 1992 film, Army of Darkness, and his role as Winky the Gatekeeper in the 2013 film, Oz the Great and Powerful, all of which were directed by his good friend, Sam Raimi. Fun fact, Sam was only 21 years old when he wrote, directed and produced this film. He went on to have a successful career in Hollywood, directing popular films such as Spider-Man, Oz the Great and Powerful, Drag Me to Hell, and Doctor Strange. In this recent interview, both Bruce and Sam talk about what Evil Dead means to them and why they think the concept worked so well. It has its own lore, like most horror movies, like there's vampire stories that have their own weaknesses and strengths and, and abilities, and, and the Evil Dead is not dissimilar. It's a, it's a book that is open, that has ancient Kimmerian, uh, Kandarian burial rites and funerary incantations, and if you read them aloud, if you recite them, it awakens these spirits and they possess the living. And I think what's unique about it is that they have a nasty sense of humor about themselves. And they exist only, not to exist, they exist not to exist like vampires, to drink blood so that they can live, but they, they exist to torment people and to create terror. And that's really a great playground for filmmakers and actors alike. Plus I think the Evil Dead movies are more over the top than your average movie. More blood, more carnage, more hate, mayhem, more suffering. Um, it's more of the full Monty experience. And that concludes our exploration of the talented cast of The Evil Dead. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by liking, subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comments below on which movie cast you'd like to see in future videos.